such a jerk, man. <laughs> Congregation may be seated. Thank you. Who gives this woman in marriage? Her father and her mother. Amen. Thank you, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, yes, darling. Okay. Happy is the sacred hour when two devoted hearts are bound by the ties of matrimony. And these precious evidences of purity of heart and contentment of mind for all their future are made more sure when the contracting parties enter this glad time. First and noblest of human contracts, marriage was divinely instituted when God created Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. In the book of Genesis, we read these words, the man gave names to all the livestock and the birds in the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon man. And while he slept, mm -hmm. he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Jesus of Nazareth honored the celebration of marriage also by his presence at a wedding in Canaan of Galilee and chose its beautiful relation as the figure of that union between himself and his church. Paul the Apostle commends it as a worthy institution and tells the husband to love his wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it, and also for the wife to be faithful to her husband, even as the church is obedient to Christ in everything. Thus the two, husband and wife, forsaking all others, become one flesh, one in thought and intent and hope and in all the concerns of the present life. You, Heston, and you, Madison, having come to me signifying your desire to be formally united in marriage, I command you to join your right hands at this time and give heed to the questions now asked you. Heston, taking the woman whom you hold by the right hand to be your lawful wedded wife, I require you to promise to love and cherish her, to honor and sustain her in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days, in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to her in all things until death alone shall part you. Do you so promise? I do. Madison, in taking the man who holds you by the right hand to be your lawful and wedded husband, I require you to promise to love and cherish him, to okay. honor and sustain him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days and in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to him in all things until death alone shall part you. Do you so promise? I do. At this time, Heston, would you take the ring that you have for Madison? Look, he lost it. Watch. There you go. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Would you place it on the third finger of her left hand, please, and hold it there for a moment? From time immemorial, we know that the ring has been, has been used to seal covenants. It's untarnishable material, <laughs> and it has a unique form, and it becomes the precious tokens of pure and abiding qualities that are evident in the marital state. Do you, Heston, give this ring to Madison as a token of your love for her? I do. Will you, Madison, take this ring as a token of Heston's love for you, and will you wear it as a token of your love for him? I will. 
Madison, you have a ring for testing at this time. Would you take it, please? Would you place it on the third finger of his left hand and hold it there for a moment, please? You like it? Do you, Madison, give this ring to Heston as a token of your love for him? I do. And will you, Heston, take this ring as a token of Madison's love for you? And will you wear it as a token of your love for her? I will. Please rejoin your right hands at this time. And repeat after me. I, Heston. I, Heston. Take you, Madison. Take you, Madison. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Madison, would you repeat after me, please? Mm -hmm. I, Madison. I, Madison. Take you, Heston. Take you, Heston. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. To cherish. To cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Having pledged your faith and your love to each other, and having sealed your solemn marital vows by giving and receiving the rings, acting in the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Arkansas, I pronounce you to be husband and wife in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses. Stay right here. Come here, Bo. Hold on. Just stay right here. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hold on. We're trying to figure it out. Okay, me and Daddy first. Wait just a second. Same time? Wait, Brayden. Wait, wait. Wait, Brayden. All right, Brayden, come here. Come here. Come here. together through me and Madison's marriage, Lord. As we would always stay together as family and understand that you're more important than anything else, Lord. And with you straining our life, Lord, we'll be strong together as a family. In your precious holy name we pray, amen. We love you. Yay! Yay! You got it? <laughs> In the book of Matthew, we read the words of Jesus when he said, What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss the bride. Are we doing it? No, not yet. Okay. You can do it. When we come in later. Okay. Do I have lipstick on me? No. I don't. No. As they prepare to release these doves, I'll step out of the way. Because <laughs> we're not exactly sure what's going to happen. They're going to come right here. But we know that white doves are the symbol of love, peace, and hope. And they pair for life. At the end of each day, Don't they return let it get to the me. same home for the night. 
As Heston and Madison release these doves, we ask you, their family, friends, to witness this symbolic gesture which heralds the beginning of their life together. Ready? Ready? Yeah! Yay! Yay! All right! That was awesome. Oh, that was... Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Basankin. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I really do. They were like, you gotta, they were like, you can't look when you come out of here. And I was like, okay. And they were like, so when I'm supposed to turn, I just like turn around everybody else. And yeah. I was like, oh, I'll just stand there and look down. What? Are you excited? That is crazy. 